Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sorsha and in today's free flow uh, video, we're gonna be talking about the bleed on it method. Um, this is from the book Wild Power by Shane and Alexandra of Red School. Um, and I just wanted to share about the, the bleed on it method and a little bit about my experiences with it. Um, so I feel like the bleed on it method is really helpful for those like kind of those moments where you're like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Why am I doing this thing? Insert, I don't know if it's like you're trying to do a marathon or a 5k or you're trying to stick with a job that's like slowly killing your soul, but you don't quite have enough money to leave yet. <laughs> um, you know, maybe you're questioning in a relationship that you're in, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, or it might be like, it might be a smaller decision as well, but I think they're quite good for those big, like, what am I doing? What's my purpose kind of um, questions that for me, I don't know about for you folks, but often that will come about really in luteal phase. Where I'm like questioning everything. Um, so yeah, so the bleed on it method is um, really using the harnessing, like the power of our cycles to um, really get in touch and and bring about the the answer from from deep within so um if you want like a separate video where we maybe do it as a more um maybe we do it together as kind of like a little ritual video then let me know that could be really fun for me to film um but i thought today I kind of would give you the the step by steps um and you can see for yourself uh, i am filming these videos <laughs> way ahead of time but also in like a really random order um so it's kind of whatever like I'm feeling really drawn to talk about on on the specific days just so I do the topic justice um so if it's out already um and you haven't listened to it yet please do check out I'm gonna sneeze please do check out the five chambers of menstruation um because that will really help you especially chambers four and five um with the vision quest and the clarity and direction am I gonna sneeze I don't think I am. Okay. <laughs> um, that will really, that will really help you with the bleed on it method. So, um, yeah, there is also a podcast called free flow that I do with my cousin and episodes season one episode, I think eight onwards discusses the menstrual maps and also the chambers of menstruation. And I actually do a deep dive into each one, um, which I think I'll probably do on this channel at some point as well. But again, that will just give you a really good solid foundation. Um, and I also would recommend having done some charting of your cycle as well for a couple of months, just so you're like in, in touch, in flow with your flow. Um, and again, Ready Steady Chart is my free download. So please grab a copy of that because it's got little trackers on it and everything. And it will really help you to get started if you're new to this. So <laughs> without further ado, let's talk about the bleed on it method. So the first thing you're going to want to do for the bleed on it method is to um, have your question clearly stated i would say state it out loud to the universe to god to your higher self to your wall whatever feels good for you um i also really like to write it down i actually have and they're over in the corner so i won't get them because i'll probably knock everything over but um i have some red post-its and i really like using these for my bleed on it method um for my little rituals and if you are someone that also really likes to create an altar space um, then you can make a little note of it and you can put it on your altar, um, your menstrual, your menstrual altar. If you don't know what that is and you want to know, let me know and I'll, I can, I can do a little video on that for you. That would be really fun, um, to share that part of my practice. And, um, another thing that might be quite nice is to write on it, you know, like those worry dolls that you get and you put them under your pillow. You could also like make a note of it and pop it under your pillow, um, or like in your pillowcase when you're sleeping. Oh, yawn, sorry, luteal phase. Oh, it's like all of the yawns even though I'm like really excited to be here I'm like oh you want to stretch it out with me okay I'm not gonna edit this bit out because I'm just keeping it real <laughs> so I'm on day 24 so I am uh, in deep luteal phase right now so if I seem a bit sleepy it's because I am but I'm also very excited so <laughs> um so that is something that you can do you don't have to write it down I really like like just you know the the hand paper connection so I think writing it down is is a nice practice to do you might also like journal it um you might even have it so that you kind of keep it and you see what other things kind of you know what other things you need to bleed on throughout like your your years um and just kind of to kind of come back to just to see um to see how things unfold and you can be like oh that's where it all started so um 
yeah you want to kind of state your intention or state your question um and you like i say you can say that out loud do it in the mirror you can say it out loud and write it down as well um and then as i say pop it on your little altar space or pop it under your pillow um or just keep it in the back of your mind and then you're going to go about your life <laughs> And you're just going to kind of let it be in the back of your mind. So the next step, you might be wanting to kind of think about like um, if there's any signs for you. So for me, I really love like double rainbows and also butterflies. So if I see those, I kind of just feel like I'm on the right, I'm on the right track or like this is, you know, this is how it's supposed to be going. So you might have like little omens like that yourself um, or just notice like those little, those, those nudges, those little inklings, those little whispers um, that are kind of are kind of coming up um, and see if they like obviously relate to your question. So really it's just kind of carrying on with the day to day, keeping it kind of in the back of your mind but not having it as like a main focus. And then um, as you kind of go into your bleed, um, and now often I will, if I have a question like this, because they tend to come up for me around luteal phase, I will um, kind of maybe have some journal time in luteal phase and then next phase is menstrual phase. So I'll often have like a clearer qu question that I'm actually asking um, in menstrual phase so I tend to do it that way you don't have to um you don't have to have the question in menstrual phase you might have the question um in your in a spring and you might just kind of make a little note of it and then you know just allow the the cycle to kind of you know run its course um so it's by no means you don't have to be like on your bleed whilst you're doing the bleeding method it's just for me that tends to be like how I've done it because I have an existential crisis most <laughs> most um luteal phases so it's just kind of how it works itself out for me um so yeah so you can um just allow your cycle to kind of unravel make sure you're doing your charting just checking in with yourself each day um and yeah seeing kind of what comes up i think it's really good to like feel it out over at least a cycle um, and you might even find that if it's like a bigger question sometimes it takes a few cycles to get like a really um you know to get more clarity and direction going forwards because it might be like you know what am i doing with my life like that's a really big question versus like should i start a podcast like that was some of my <laughs> some examples for me um and a lot of the a lot of the what am i doing with my life for me came down to like sharing information about menstrual cycle awareness and adhd um and you know yoga and how all of those kind of helped me to like you know function and flourish um, and so they kind of interlinked quite nicely, but it was, you know, it was, it was lots of pieces of the puzzle and it took, you know, quite a few cycles to kind of put it all into place. Um, so yeah, so it's just kind of allowing the cycle to kind of run its course. As I said, it might take a couple of cycles and just, um, like I say, noticing those little niggles and, um, and then really allowing yourself if possible to really drop in, especially dropping the bundle during menstruation and really going through those um, menstrual chambers because when you are able to separate and surrender and to have that deep renewal in chamber three and then when you have the vision quest in um, uh, the visioning in, in chamber four and then you can receive that clarity and direction in chamber five that is really gonna that is gonna be you know where your answers kind of come through um from from source from deep you know deep innate knowing that's where you're going to get those answers so if you're not able to drop into that it's going to take potentially a lot longer um and also it's you'll you'll really know when the answers come through because it's not like it's not a th it's not a thought um it's like so much deeper than like a guttural feeling. It's like a real instinct. And it's almost like a, it's almost like a, a voice that just pops up and you're like, oh, where did that, where did that, that, that thought or that idea or that, where did that come from? Like whose voice is that? Um, and so, yeah, so it's really like allowing yourself to get more, more in tune. And then, you know, practices like for me, yoga really helps me to get much more in tune with my body. It helps me get out of my head and into my body as well. So I would definitely say like, encourage you to have like some walks in nature to do some meditation because although it feels like we're like sitting with the mind and we kind of are we're also gently detaching um and in a healthy way and yeah really like nourishing your body moving getting enough sleep all of those things are going to help you feel more in alignment with who you really are and therefore when that clarity and direction comes through 
I think it all just makes it easier because you've you've paid attention to your cycle, you've dropped the bundle, you've rest, you've taken deep rest, and then you know once you once you kind of fill up your cup, then your cup overfloweth and um, you're more likely to kind of feel like renewed and you're more likely to get those um, get that kind of sense of purpose, get those questions answered. Um, rather than being in a place of like you're not really looking after yourself you feel really disjointed and discombobulated and um you're kind of accidentally more in your head than your body and trying to get those you're trying to think those answers even if you're not even if you don't think that you are you're actually probably trying to think think the thing rather than feel you know like listen to the not even feel the thing but like listen to the thing um if that, i hope that makes sense <laughs> Um, I'm just going to have a quick look at my notes and just see if there's anything else I wanted to say. Um, doodla, 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 doodla. Um, yeah, I think the only other main bit is really to, yeah, to like, so we're really just allowing for our menstrual cycle to kind of, uh, to allow us to receive. Um, and as I say to, if you, if you kind of worry and you think, oh God, I'm not, I, you know, I need more time, I need more time. And you're, you're struggling to take a back seat on it. Cause I am such like, I can be so, um, what's the word? Like such a control freak if I'm not careful. So I do get way, you know, if that, if you feel like that as well sometimes, but I think if you really, um, remind yourself that there is time, there is plenty of time. It might not always feel like there is, but there is time. And as I say, be, try really hard to be patient with the process because it might take, if it's a really big question, it might take more than one cycle to, to kind of have that answer to come through. Um, and as I say, the stronger your, the st going back to like sort of yoga and meditation and those kinds of things, I feel like you're building on your intuition and I think the reason I'm kind of getting hung up on this is that I think if you for me being diagnosed with ADHD like later on in life at 31 I think there were so many times when I like pushed through my um innate wisdom and my like intuition and I was like oh I'm just being silly like even with the diagnosis it took me a full year to get diagnosed because I was going back and forth um being like oh maybe I'm just being really silly like I probably don't have ADHD like blah 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 blah. and I was like no social like you do like you know you do like you just you just know <laughs> like you know you just know like take a leap of faith um so I think if you're you know neurodivergent you're spicy I think there is a real um because of the demands of day-to-day -day functioning i.e like masking um like you know masking at work is like a really big one that's really exhausting um but like you know the executive function making all those decisions like everything being a lot of like the sort of routine boring stuff taking like a lot more of like a mental toll i feel like we push through like when we need to rest um like or even like hyper focus like think of when you're like you last hyper focus on something and you're like you forget to like eat you forget to pee like i'll be like four hours into something and i'll be like oh god i'm i'm really annoyed at this like i know maybe i'm doing something on canva like with a thumbnail clip or something or i'm editing a video and i'm like really irritated and i'm like oh i'm actually just i actually just really needed to pee like an hour ago and i haven't got up because i was like so in the zone or oh, i'm really really thirsty like i haven't had any water in like five hours or whatever the thing was I just need to move my body and i feel like we're so used to pushing through how what like what our body needs that we have also learned to push through as a byproduct we've learned to push through our innate wisdom and our um intuition so i think those things whatever it takes to strengthen your intuition um and a big part of that for me is menstrual cycle awareness that's been huge for me but there's also been things that have helped me along the way before i discovered it and it actually led me to discover it because i discovered it through yoga um so yoga meditation being being in nature um i think and again as i say a lot of also dance i grew up doing loads of dance and i think those things that really bring us into the body like that you know that feminine energy um really bringing us into the body rather than the head are going to help to strengthen that so um the more of those things you're doing a bit like you know eating more nourishing foods is going to help us rather than like having a sugar high because we ate too much like ice cream the, the day before things like that that's not going to help you're going to feel crappy and then you're not really going to feel like maybe as, as intuitive intuitive as you'd, you'd like um so yeah that's kind of my experience with um with my kind of tips and things with the bleed on it method as i say if you would like 
um, like more of a ritual style video where we maybe do it together. Um, that would be really fun. Um, I wonder if I could maybe include it. I do want to do like a um, self care on my period um, like video. So maybe I'd include it in that or it might be like a separate thing. Um, and I don't know if you can hear the rain. <laughs> I hope it's not too distracting. I've got like five more videos to film after this. Um, but yeah, I hope that you find this this useful. Let me know if you um, have any further questions about the bead on it method. Let me know if you've tried it. Maybe you've done it like accidentally. Um, and yeah, I would just love to hear your experiences as per usual. So I hope this was fruitful. Um, I hope you like my snazzy shirt. Uh, and um, yeah, I hope that you have a really good rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.